Hello gamers, today I got a video for you. I've been practicing a little bit with this new rendering shading style I wanted to show you guys. So if you guys got Procreate, it'll probably work in like Photoshop and all that. But um, basically I have my line art already did here. I make a new layer underneath my line art. I'm just gonna grab like a random color for right now. Um, I go back to my line layer. Make sure these are merged real quick. Back to my line layer and try to um, I put it on automatic and I try to select everything on the outside because everything on the inside is going to be colored. And I'm going to pull this up. Oh, yeah, see, that's too much. So, probably around 84 is pretty good. And then I invert it. Go back to my under layer. So basically, I'm just gonna grab like a thick brush, fill in everything that didn't get filled in because I did more of a sketchy like line art. I didn't do like a solid lines yet. I don't know, I, I kind of like the sketchy look. So, what I'm gonna do is just fill everything in. Bam. Smoke, I don't need to color that in. That's fine how it is, because I'm gonna do that later. Boom, boom. All right. So I'm gonna go back to my flats. And if you have an iPad and you have the Procreate, you're gonna get your two fingers, hold them on the layer and a swipe right. What the hell? Don't hold them for too long. Just two fingers, swipe right on that layer. And then it'll lock the transparency. Or you can just go alpha lock a lot but i like doing the two fingers all right so basically this dude that i'm doing kind of light skinned i'm just gonna pick like a tone i think fits him that's fine right there and then this is based off of a uh, samurai chomp blue so we're gonna color in his clothes chomp blue style so put my line layer on reference go back to my colors my flats and then he wears like a reddish almost like a super desaturated red um like overshirt just drop that in i feel like it needs to be more red like that and then i got like this over here just hit these sketch marks yours probably won't be as sketchy as mine so you don't have to go over it as much as i do See, sometimes that happens because the lines are not thick enough. There we go. Alright. And then the other undershirt is like a gray. sash is kind of greenish I'm just gonna speed through this and color it all really quick So we have all the flats, all right? So what I do is I make a new layer above the flats. I'm gonna call this shadows. Okay, and I pick like a, usually I'll go like red, put it like right here, almost like a pinkish gray. Or I'll do a blue and do like a almost bluish gray. But for this one, I think I'm gonna do the red. 
Right is greater than. Put on multiply. I drop the opacity down to like 61. Doesn't matter, 60. Sometimes I do darker. But for this one, I'm gonna get my airbrush. Alright, make sure it's on clipping mask. And then I'll get like my uh, selection tool. Put it on freehand. And then I'm just gonna like wherever I think a shadow would be. I'm not like the best at shadows, like lighting and all that. So wherever I think it would be, I would just go like boom. And then I'll just like tap it with the airbrush. You see how that looks? And then we'll hit the eye. A little cast shadow from the eyelid. And just like tap it. Like, I kind of want there to be more of a shadow up here above this eye. So I'm basically going to go over that again. Because I want this to be filled in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to hit it with the... Uh, Eraser your brush just to light it up a little bit. Something like that. We hit the ear. I want the bottom to be the darkest. And then the nose, boom. And then the nose is gonna have like a cast shadow. bottom to be the darkest again and then the, I always do the top lip I don't know if this is like the way you're supposed to do it but I always do the top lip like with a light shadow and then underneath oops It's gonna have a cast shadow. Something like that. And I know like this isn't perfect, but I mean if I study lighting a little bit more, I'm pretty sure I'll get better. But as for right now, this is like kind of what I do. I don't always do this. Sometimes I just hit get like a pen tool and just do some hard cell shading basically but uh, I've been liking this lately because um, I've been watching a lot of videos where they talk about doing triangles so I'll show you a second what the triangle thing is and right, I'm gonna hit the hair I'm just trying to keep all the shadows on the um, either bottom half or the right side of the hair just so it all looks like the lighting is coming from like the top left basically shadow because I feel like the head you know it's like cover covering up the neck a lot so kind of do something like that I'll hit the whole thing and at the very tops I'll do like I'll press down all the way 
to get like the darkest shadows. Like, when I do the creases on the shirts, I kind of, like, wing it. I don't really know what, what I'm doing. Like, I'll just try to do, like, some folds, creases, make it look like I know. But I don't. I'm still learning. But it looks alright. Then I'm going to hit the sleeves. Try to follow, like, these uh, creases I already made. And I'm just going to... Dap it a little bit. Dap it. Add a triangle. I think once you start adding the triangles, it's gonna look a little bit more defined. Cash out of this. layer this is gonna be for like the darkest of dark shadows put on clipping then I'm gonna hit like right here boom triangle and I'm gonna like tap it a little bit give it a little bit more of a definition you know underneath the nose I would do triangle inside the ear just because I feel like that's like one of the darkest places on him maybe underneath the neck triangle shapes to give like a sense of folding creasing basically it and then I just add all the time I add like a rim light so I'll go like let's get like a let's change the background color to I like the blue I like that blue let's do that blue so I will copy that color make it a little bit brighter Put the layer on add clipping and then I will highlight what I think would be hitting the light like that and just like tap with the airbrush see and it gives it like a gradient look and I always do it on one side like whatever side I do the shadows on I'll do the uh, highlights on the opposite side. But 
But then again, I'm not perfect at it. I'm just like kind of doing what I know how to do. So then like his hair, I have the shadows on the right, so I would add some highlights on the left. like doing a random like random shapes and there you have it the final one of the final things I do I uh, do a lock opacity or lock transparency on the layer I'll get like a red, almost almost black. Fill it in so then my line art is a little bit lighter. Maybe it could be a little bit lighter than that. And then I'll go in with a little bit of a brighter red. And I'll get like his facial features. And just um color those in red like make them like a reddish color and I don't do these perfect I kind of just like wing it like whatever like not everything I color in but I like to do like his the ears and the face so like this stuff will be redder if you can see that on the video so like his neck Basically, and that's it. And then I duplicate that, put it on multiply, and then I unlock it, the alpha lock. And I go to Gaussian blur, I put it on about like four or five. Let's see, four. So that's how it looks with the blur, and this is without the blur. Boom, boom. Look how different it looks. It looks so much better with the blur, doesn't it? Or is it just me? I don't know, I like the blur. <laughs> And then final thing I do, this is the last thing I do. Make one more layer on top of everything. Put it on multiply. And I pick a random color like purple maybe. And then I go back to my reference layer or actually my flats layer. I select it, select your flats layer and then go to the top layer, multiply your airbrush and then I just like tap the bottom right like whatever side my light is on I put the shadow on the opposite side so this is gonna be like a shadow see how it's getting a little bit darker so I do purple and then I'll do like a blue maybe gives it a little bit different and that's it that's how I color a drawing using this. It's not a new style that I've been doing. It's just something I've been doing a little bit more of. Not really doing the um, hard lines. Like before I would just go like multiply layer, get blue, grab the pen tool, and I would just go like that. And it looks super hard, like hard lines. I don't, I don't want that no more. So I've been doing like gradient, more like triangle shapes, more uh, blocky, like edgy, sharper edges. Um, but then they have the gradient so they look a little bit softer but uh, anyways I hope this helps you guys out um, I'll probably do another video on my line art how I did it this is more of like a sketchy to, like lines that I did I usually do like hard lines too but um, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, if you're not following me on Instagram every Friday I draw somebody a uh, follower now, for now I'm gonna be drawing people as anime characters like this this is gonna be my follower Friday tomorrow or today this is gonna be my follower friday for today um anyways hope you guys enjoy and i will talk to you later and uh 
please leave a comment let me know if you guys did this and if it helped and i would really appreciate it um thank you guys uh peace out